How to build an MSE-6 mouse droid from Star Wars. Constructing a mouse droid from scratch can be a fun project, but keep in mind that it may not be an exact replica unless you're willing to invest significant time and resources. However, here's a simplified guide to help you get started. This is what you will need for the assembly process. The RC car. I decided to go with the bare bones RJ Speed RC Legends chassis kit number RJS 2012. It includes the chassis kit with rear axle, bumper, and body mounts. For my version, I omitted the bumper and body mounts. Once it was complete, I moved on to the next component, the drive motor. With so many choices out there, I chose to go with the Quick Run Fusion Pro by Hobby Wing. It operates smoothly at low speed. The strong torque is able to outperform the censored power system, and the consistency is better than the brushed power system. This motor is extremely silent, eliminating unwanted noises during operation. Optional heat sink. It is highly recommended that you cool down your motor under these stressful conditions. For this application, an RC motor cooling dual fan with an aluminum heat sink would do the job just fine. Steering servo and servo saver. The heavy duty and rugged ProTech RC black label. Waterproof high torque, brushless crawler, servo was a no brainer. The X ray extra stiff composite servo saver model number XRA 372503 was the best choice for the given task. In my opinion, this is the best one out there. The only drawback it has is you have to assemble it, but it is really simple to put it together. Adjustable steering linkage. Since the kit brings a cheap steering linkage system, I upgraded them to two pieces of aluminum alloy servo link steering arms. These adjustable set allows for fine tuning of your front steering so the vehicle drives in a straight line. The battery. To power the mouse droid, I selected the Gen's Ace 5000 milliamps per hour at 11.1 volts LiPo battery pack with XT60 plug. This should yield hours of entertainment without having to recharge. To make sure everything was wired correctly, I did a simple wiring diagram. I have a link to where you can download it for free in the description below. It outlines everything covered in this video. The control system. In order to communicate with the droid, the Radio Link RC 6 GS version 3, a 7 channel RC transmitter along with the Radio Link model number R7FG gyro receiver were used. To power the transmitter, I upgraded the batteries from the stock double A's to a Radio Link 7.4 volt LiPo battery. Simply remove the stock battery housing from underneath the unit and connect the LiPo battery and you're really to roll. The sound system. A cost-effective sound device to add to the mouse droid was to incorporate a small Bluetooth speaker that can be operated by any cell phone. This one came from Amazon and it is called the Anchor Sound Core Mini. Super portable Bluetooth speaker with 15 hours of playtime, 66-foot Bluetooth range, and enhanced bass. To secure it in place while the droid was in motion, I engineered a 3D printed housing that would secure it to the middle wooden frame. At only two and a half inches in diameter, this little powerhouse would give personality to the mouse droid. The audio file was downloaded from the internet and installed into an SD card then placed inside the speaker. Thermal formed plastic shells and details. Two ABS shells were used to the exterior body. The larger of the two was the upper half, so the sound could be heard from within the speaker. Two square holes were cut from both sides. The lower half needed several openings for the tires and electronics. 
The tricky challenge I had to overcome was the dip caused by the weight onto this part. The adequate solution was to design a wooden structure that would act like an I-beam, which would straighten the lower half and keep it flat. Back on the upper half, the two double-sided universal PCB prototype perf boards would allow the sound to travel through while hiding the openings. The mounting boards measure 8 inches wide by 6 inches high. To give it its authentic side details, actual 14-pin microchips were used in specific locations. Each was manually placed into position, then adhered to the board. Additionally, there were 60 ceramic disc capacitors at 30 per side for added realism to the build. Both the front and back top greebles were 3D printed in black PLA and attached with 4mm machine screws. To add the lower details to those greebles, 10K ohm resistors were interlocked together and layered in sets of 3 high. Optional Accessories one accessory that was a must-have for me was an FPV, or first-person view camera spotter, which is mounted in the front lower half of the droid. To see where you are going, this miniature 2-in-1 FPV camera and video transmitter will guide you every step of the way. The Clover-designed top-mounted antenna receives a better signal in HD, 